Hi, my name is John Crouch. I'm with Muskrat Magazine. Uh, I'm a member of Wick Wemacong First Nations and uh, I'm here today because I'm going to make a little bit of an intervention. I'm here in my friend's kitchen and uh, as I said, I'm here for an intervention. Um, I've got 30 years uh, experience in the food business. Uh, I started out as a waiter um, and I moved my way up till I bought my own restaurant. I now, now own a catering company called Accidental Caterer. Um, I know quite a bit about food, you know. I used to eat unhealthy at one time, but as I worked in the industry, I learned to make choices. And that's something that I'm going to try to teach my friend today, is to make healthy choices to improve his life. We're going to start with bread, you know, always considered the staff of life. But this really is not the staff of life. This is more like the nail in the coffin. This is a, uh, a product that is made with uh, bleached, overly processed uh, flour that has all the good ingredients removed from it. Um, my suggestion is you don't buy it, but if you do buy it, just throw it straight into the garbage because it has no good qualities whatsoever. Um, here we have another choice, uh, whole, whole wheat. Now whole wheat, you know, it sounds good, uh, but still, this is made with a, a more processed flour than uh, uh, we really want. What we want, what we're looking for is whole grains, you know, that have, don't have the germ removed, that are um, actually, you know, more closer to the natural form that they came in. And that is something that we always have to remember. If it's close to its natural form, it's probably good for you. So we can get rid of this as well. A better choice is this. This is made with whole grains. Uh, it contains flax, oats, uh, rye. It contains a lot of different uh, uh, wheats and different uh, grains that are, are good for you. And they still have the uh, germ within them and they're going to provide much more nutritious uh, quality than either of those other two first choices. So try to choose a, a, a bread that's made with whole grains. So this one is a keeper. You know, as it stands, I think we eat too much bread anyway. Um, you know, even the good bread, I think we are eating too much. It's better to uh, perhaps like uh, eat less bread and maybe get some of those same nutrients from uh, whole grains through eating nuts and eating, uh, getting it from your pasta, for example. But we, we tend to, in our society, eat far too much bread and we get far too many calories from bread. Okay, let's see what my friend has in his fridge. Oh, what's this? Wow. Craft smooth peanut butter. Well, you'd think that would be good for you, you know. It's got nuts in it, doesn't it? But let's see what else it has in there. Wow, it has soybean oil, corn dextrin, sugar, and hydrogenated vegetable oil and salt. That doesn't sound good. Let's take a look and see what I brought in my basket. Same company, but we have something that's all natural. But remember, those are trick words, all natural. But let's look at the ingredient label. That's what you should always do. Look at the ingredient label, and that'll tell you what's in this product. In this product, we have, lo and behold, peanuts. Wow. You know, that's what you want. Peanuts. They come from nature, and we can eat that. So we'll keep that one, because that one's going to be good for you. Okay, let's take a look at my friend's cupboard. Oh my God, what are these? Potato chips. Oh, like you may as well eat styrofoam. This is crap. Uh, you know, we look at it and, it's, and I love the way they market it. Specially selected potatoes. Well, specially selected potatoes. Wow, that doesn't mean crap to me. But um, all I can say is that this is deep fried in hy hydrogenated oils. Uh, and those oils are going straight into your body. Um, you know, this is something, this is one product that I can honestly say that we never should eat. You know, it's got 420 calories in this one little bag. You know, that, that is uh, a quarter of a woman's calories for a day. So this uh, is something that we can toss right away. Better, but not perfect, is this other item in my friend's uh, cupboard there. Popcorn. Look at that pretty pa packaging, eh? Wow, that's all going to go to a landfill site somewhere. Um, but see, this uh, product too is uh, all individually wrapped, right? You know, it's all about convenience. It's all about, um, you know, making it easier for us to eat more. Uh, what I say we should do with this 
is, um, you know, before we throw it in the garbage, I just want to tell you that uh, what we need to do is take control of our lives, take control of our foods. And we don't need someone telling us what we should be eating. Uh, and this is a bad product only because it's uh, in butter and it's a fast food, basically. So let's toss that too. Better still is, you know, let's start buying things the way our um, you know, our mothers and fathers and grandfathers bought things, you know, from in the natural form, you know, the way it came out of the field and was harvested, this is closer to the natural form. And this is going to be better for you because you have more control. You know, you can take this and you can put it into a hot air popper and you're not using any kind of uh, oils to uh, prepare this popcorn because, come on, let's face it, we all enjoy some uh, snacks when we're watching our movies, but this is the better choice. So this is something that I'm going to put back in my friend's cupboard, and this is something he'll enjoy. Okay, when we're sitting down watching a movie, we've got our popcorn. We've already decided what's good popcorn. Let's see what we have to drink, because we're going to get thirsty. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, this is like poison. You know, this is like sugar. We may as well just pour sugar down our gullets, because this is crap. So this can go in the garbage. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, oh my goodness, orange juice. Not really. <laughs> this is Sunny D, my goodness. Oh, this is crap too. I don't even want to read all the ingredients on here, but uh, uh, orange juice isn't at the top of the list, so this can go in the garbage too. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we have, uh, well, this is a better choice. But remember, again, you know, uh, better choices aren't necessarily the best choice you know so this is loaded with calories you know and we always forget how many calories we're getting every day from our our, our sources of uh, liquid you know whether it be pop juice milk whatever those are the calories that we're getting that we forget about you know because it's so mindless you know that we drink our fluids all the time but we can get upwards of half of our calories from fluid you know so let's uh, limit this to maybe a glass in the morning with breakfast Better choice overall daily is a simple thing called H2O, water. You know, it's abundant and it's free. You know, like I said before, take control of your life. Let's take a look in the fridge and see what he has. Wow, <laughs> what's this? Extra cheddar. Mmm, sounds good, doesn't it? You wonder probably why, probably wondering why I'm laughing is because, you know, Cheese is probably like the last thing that this thing uh, contains. Um, it actually contains like uh, tons of chemicals and, uh, you know, coloring, salt, uh, and something called AO15E. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm not putting it in my body. But, you know, the beauty of this thing is it's sliced. It's sliced for you. How convenient. You know, <laughs> that's kind of really funny to me, you know. It's packaged in plastic, and inside the plastic is more plastic protecting each and every little, little individual cheese slice. You know, from what? I don't know. But um, this is crap that we don't need to put into our body. Better for us, but still, you know, something that we should think about is um, cheese. This is, we've got two different cheeses here. One is organic and one is not organic, okay? This is a pretty good quality cheese, but it's something that we should limit. You know, we don't have to eat a lot of cheese, you know? We've already talked about bread and how we should limit that, but we can limit cheese too. Although, as I said, this is a better choice, we still should limit the amount of cheese that we eat every day. We put cheese on everything. We put it on our sandwiches, we put it on our vegetables. You must remember that cheese comes from a cow and cows are marketed, all the products that come from cows are marketed. A marketing board only cares about selling you more cheese. You know, so keep that in mind. And when you see all those nice little advertisements saying, here's how you can use more cheese, throw it out. You know, if you want to make broccoli, make broccoli, cook broccoli, eat broccoli raw, but don't cover it with cheese. Cheese is too much fat, but this is good. We're going to keep this. Okay, we're going to talk about something that is a really big pet peeve of mine, cereal. 
Let's see what they got in the cupboard here. Oh my God. <laughs> look at this crap. Wow. You know, look how pretty that is though. Look at the bright colors they use. You know, this is a marketing ploy. You know, if you've ever noticed when you go to a supermarket, the, the sweet, overly processed cereals are right at eye level, right at the level of your kids sitting in that shopping cart. You know, they're going to point at that and say, mommy, can I get this, some of this? And you get tired of listening to the nagging. So you, you, you succumb to their demands and you buy the crap. <laughs> Don't buy this stuff because it's no good for you and it's no good for your children. You know, companies spend millions and millions of dollars marketing these products to your children. They don't care about your, the health of your children. Keep that in mind. Let's see what else is down here. Okay, often we think that these products are better for us. You know, we've got our Rice Krispies and we've got our Shreddies, you know. And growing up, you know, we, we look at them and it's like made with 100% whole grain wheat, you know. But still, we forget to look at the label and see that they're loaded with sodium and they've got sugar in them. So these can be thrown out too. Oops. Along with the Cocoa Puffs. Better choice is oatmeal. But this is of the, the, the quick boil variety, you know. If you're going to buy oatmeal, try to buy steel cut oats. Steel cut oats contain all of the uh, essential ingredients. Nothing is taken away. Uh, these ones have had stuff taken away so that they cook faster. Uh, even better, I think, is whole grains. You know, whole grains with a, a low-fat milk, organic milk if you can afford it, and you're getting so many nutrients and minerals from these uh, products like this that it's going to do you much better. And in reality, because so many of those other products have food coloring in them, your children will behave better when they're eating foods that come closer to what is natural, closer to the earth. So remember that. Get stuff that comes from nature. Don't get stuff that comes from the scientists. Oh yeah.